back to SB Basic. Last week we got a big chunk of the linkage all installed for the steering system. Almost done, just have a few last connections that we have to make to the rudders. We'll get those installed, make that connection, and get this hydraulic system installed. I'll be honest, I've never really worked with hydraulics before, so this will be interesting to learn about. And a lot of little calculations to make sure that the ram is mounted in the correct position to put the correct load at the right angles uh, onto the steering system. So a little bit of work, a little homework I got to do, but it seems like it's all penciled out so far, so let's get started. Okay, here we are inside the starboard sugar scoop. Let's take a look inside of our linkage locker. Got the linkage in, but now it's a matter of mounting this ram. And there's a couple calculations to figure out where it goes, what height this way, how far off the bulkhead it needs to be to get that correct load pushing on this arm. You don't want to push it in a, at the incorrect angle because it could uh, put pressure on the system and start bending components. So let's go calculate that out. Okay, so far it looks pretty easy. It says you just have to do a quick couple calculations and everything lays out pretty simple so far. Calculate, I need a three quarter inch spacer behind the uh, mount for the cylinder right here. So I just took a piece of starboard lumber, cut out my spacer, put a nice radius edge on it, and now I need to drill my holes. And that'll give me the, the correct elevation off that bulkhead uh, to mount the cylinder. Okay, let's give this a test. Make sure that everything lines up before we get this down in that compartment. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, I think I'm all set. Getting my hardware all lined up. I think it's time to get this cylinder installed. So we'll do that next. Okay, I cut my front plate and I was gonna make two of these little backer plates, one for each side. I thought it'd be easier to put on two individual backer plates rather than one big one. But my plan has changed and here's why. When I calculated this out, here is the box beam. It was gonna go through this box beam inside the sugar scoop. It's three inches thick. With a half inch thickness here, a three quarter inch, and another half inch here, that would have been perfect. But when I drilled through, it was only five eighths of an inch thick. So I had to change my plan. So here's my front plate, here's my new backer plate. I'm going with a three quarter starboard. And I've really beefed it up. I don't want this to ever fail. There's a lot of force on this ram. So I beefed up my backer plate, and I even put a little security bolt in here, and I'll show you why I had to do that. I'm working in the master stateroom in the master closet. And here's what happened. So right up here, that's three inches thick, but it steps in right here. And that box beam is all up here, runs the full beam of the boat all the way across right here. But it steps in right where I drilled through. So I oversized my holes, epoxied, and then re-drilled. Now I'll be able to insert this right up behind here. I'll get four bolts through the bulkhead. So I'm going to need Lynn's help on this. So I'll get her to help me and we'll get this installed right now. Okay, I think I'm all set up in here. 
Here's my standoff. Bolts are in with the butyl tape. Now it's just a matter of positioning this in and uh, securing it up. Hopefully everything was measured correctly. We'll see in a second. A struggle but we got it uh, shredded the closet again need to get this put away but let me show you the back of the plate oh, hey compass come on get out of there what are you doing in there it's all bolted in feels nice and strong I'm feel confident feel good let's go check out how it looks in the sugar scoop Get up the stairs, go, come on, go. Come on, go, you got it. Compass has a stair phobia. There you go, buddy. Okay, back down in the sugar scoop. Let's check out the linkage locker. And look at that. Nice, shiny, brand new cylinder. Well, it's not brand new, but it looks new. It's all in, hooked to the linkage. And check this out, I had a lot of calculations. This cylinder, when it's hard to starboard, actually wouldn't fit in this locker. So I lined it up exactly to go out through the access port. Worked out uh, pretty slick, I think. I'm happy with the install. And next thing is start getting these lines led. I need to do a little research first on that, so I'll save that for tomorrow. Big day today. We are getting these rudders in. We have all the hardware ready. Teal's pulling the halyards so we can hoist these babies up and into place. Emma and I are just going to be here to make sure that uh, we can assist Teal. Hey, do you remember when we pulled these out the first time? Yes. I think it's it was fun. raining out. It was. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. They should just slide in like butter, right? Like butter. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like butter. Like <laughs> butter. I think I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm gonna lift it straight up, and you guys just take up the slack with the safety line. Okay, I'm gonna step out. Okay. If we get in any trouble at all, just lap it around the cleat. Okay, go ahead and lower it real slow. Keep lowering. Okay, it's very buoyant. I know. Well, we're almost in. Okay. You want me to go down with the bolts? Go ahead and give me some slack with the safety line now. It is slack. Okay, tie it off right there. Well, that went unexpectedly well, didn't it? <laughs> I thought it would be a little bit harder. I thought I had to tap it in, but it just slid right into place. So. Let me get the hardware and uh, secure this room inside. 
Emma, are you gonna help on the next one? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> okay, here's the rudder trunk. I just slid the first bolt in, put butyl tape on it. Now I'm gonna put butyl on this, washer and locking nut and cinch it up. Okay, you can start untying all that, uh, the safety lines. Okay. And you have to bring it all the way around the boat on the outside of all the stays and shrouds, all the way around to the other side. Okay. Okay, those are in. Let's go to the other side. Things not moving now. Okay, release a little bit. Release a little bit. Okay, let it go down. I'm walking down. Okay, go ahead and tie it off right there. Okay. We're in. Oh, this feels good. Getting those back in. I'll be able to take this hardware off now, blend these into the hull. We'll clean them up a little bit. But we, <laughs> but we gotta rush out of here, don't we? Did you turn off the water? Water's off. Okay. Where are we heading, people? We're gonna go see Ron Sailing. Yeah, we are actually going to see Johan and Malin before they head out of Seattle. They've been here for quite a few months doing some boat work. And we had them over for dinner a couple weeks back and they invited us over to check out all their improvements. Sounds fun to me. Let's go. So that was fun yesterday, huh? Yeah. yeah. It was a lot of fun. I liked hanging out in their boat and hanging out with them. Yeah. Johan and Malin were really nice to invite us over for a few hours to tour their boat before they head out for their next uh, destination. Yeah. I know. They have a, I know they had a busy schedule, so it meant a lot to go just chat with them and just relax. Yeah, it was cool. Their boat was pretty nice too. Okay. Now back to <laughs> our real world of projects. Here's what I got going today. Projects everywhere. That means we're gonna leave. That's our cue, right? Yep, you guys get back to school and I'm gonna make some noise. Okay, let's take a look at some of these projects we have going today. Now that the rudders are in, I could put the final two struts in. I'll snap those in first. Then we get to start connecting the hydraulic system. Here's my Capilano pump. That goes in. 
there's some hardware involved with a fill tube I have to put on. But before I could get that in, believe it or not, I have to put this compass in. Well, I won't install it, but I need to cut the hole for the compass. I need that for an access hole to reach some of the hardware for this Capilano. So let's get busy with these projects and button these up while the sun's out. Jeez, I'm loving it. Okay, now that the rudder's in, this should be real easy. Okay. Okay, this should just slide right on. There it goes. Well, that went in real smooth. Now, I'll head over to the other side, get that side in as well. It's really weird looking into the boat, seeing rudders in there again. Oh, can you see it? There it is. I'm liking it. Okay, when the rudders were kicking up, this was the bracket on the back that actually had a sacrificial plate in there. So if something was hit, it would break the sacrificial plate and kick the rudder up. But I'm gonna put that plate back in there just to add a little more support till we get to the haul out facility. And there we go. Okay, we took one of the swim ladders off. I'm probably gonna reposition it now that the linkage is back in and get the proper clearance. What do you think of all this? It's cool. I know. It's getting there, huh? It's getting there. Feels good. Get, you know, the linkage is 100% in now. Rudders are in, linkage is all in. Okay, I was gonna put the compass in next so I could drill an access hole here to reach up because I have to do some deck hardware inside of this compartment. But, change of plans. Looks like I have to recess the wheel in slightly and this clearance right here between the wheel, it's gonna be real close to that compass. So I can hold off on that until I get the Capilano installed and get the wheel mounted so I get some hard measurements. It's close, but I don't think it's gonna make it. Guess we'll see. Okay, to mount the Capilano, we actually have to go into the galley. I built this little access panel to reach the back side of the Capilano. I've already put a nice big backer plate. I've laid it up in here. And these are the hardware that hold the Capilano in place. So I'll get Lynn on the outside. Lynn, you out there? I'm here. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing in. Okay, go ahead and push the bolts through. Okay, now the other side, let's tighten that up. Okay. Okay, yeah, it feels real solid. Okay, looks good. Okay, now that this is in, it doesn't look real possible, but... I'll measure it anyway. That's gonna line up right there. This goes right here. And then that goes on. That gives me just about an inch and a half clearance behind there. Yep, plan B for the compass. Okay, now that the Capilano is mounted, and I don't have room to put the compass. I do have options where to put that and we'll attack that later. But for now, I still need to get the fill line in. It has to go through the upper deck and down to the top of the unit. So rather than getting an access point here in the face, I have one more spot in the galley. And we'll attack that next. 
Okay, in the galley, behind the panel, is the Capilano. I need access above the Capilano for the fill tube, and that's going to go behind here. I'll take off the clock and put an access point right up in here. So let's do that next. I've laid out my center point for the hole I want to cut. Put a little protection down to catch some of the debris and put a little more down on the counter to keep it as clean as I can because I am working in the galley. It's comforting when I put an access hole in the boat and inside of a sealed wall, it's all epoxied with a marine grade mahogany plywood. Okay, now that I have my access hole, this is a raw edge. And when I get done with putting in these fittings, I'll treat this with epoxy before we button it up. Here's what I'm doing. Look at this. The top of the Capilano pump is a fill tube. And it says just attach a vinyl tubing to elbow fittings with hose clamps. So that's what we're setting up right now. So let's get this in. Well, welcome to Seattle in the spring. Just like that, look at that. Got some big clouds rolling in. Rain squall just went by. Oh well, gotta get this in. So here's what I'm doing. Here's my Capilano. The fill hose needs to go from here to the upper deck up here. So what I did, took a center mark and just put it right here. Measured back, needs to go about nine inches. I need to drill a three quarter inch hole right there. And that'll allow us to put the hydraulic fluid in the system. So Teal is giving me one job, and that is to hold this deck fill square and parallel right here to this this edge right here. He put a washer underneath of this so then with butyl tape so then it doesn't mar the deck. So um, pressure's on. I can't move it. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I think it's square. Okay, the deck fills in. Fill tubes complete. I've mixed up a little West System epoxy with white pigment and treated that edge of that raw wood. We'll let that fire off tonight, but I could still put this panel on. feels good to get that in. It does look good, but we're not done yet. We are going to wrap it up today though. I uh, just wanted to say thank you so much to all of our patrons. You guys have been awesome. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're going to come back next week with another couple projects to be completed. I guarantee that wheel will be in. Oh, you think it will? It's going to be in. It will be in. <laughs> See you guys next week. Oh my god. What? What the hell is this? Is this cheese? What is this? Oh my god. Tell me this is cheese. This is cheese, right? Is this cheese? Oh my god, it's skin! Oh my god. Don't tell me I just had skin. Is that cheese? Tell me it was cheese. It was cheese, right? Was it cheese? It's not cheese. That was not skin, was it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>